So there's been a change in education this year, and a new mandate where all classroom doors need to be locked at all times. Which is fun because it's safer, but it's also super annoying because every time you get about halfway through your sentence, you have to open the door for another kid that's gone to the bathroom. So I took matters into my own hands. Here's what you'll need. A quick wire connector. A remote control switch. A rope of some sort. I attached the rope to a screwdriver. Drilled some holes in there into the handle. Which I will then insert into the drill. So here's the setup. Screwdriver inserted into the drill, so when I drill, it winds the rope around the screwdriver handle. Pretty simple setup. Next, I'll attach the rope to the door handle. Activate the drill and pull the handle down. Reverse the motor, and we're locked. Next, I'll have to disassemble my drill wire in the wireless controller in place of my actual trigger, then come up with some sort of mounting bracket to attach this all to my door. Let's see how it works. Now I'm mocking up how I'm going to place the drill on the mounting board. I had to space out the handle about a half inch so I still have access to the battery once it's mounted. Now I'm mocking up the mounting board and marking it for proper placement to the handle. And disassemble the drill. Next I'll be disconnecting the trigger. So here's my battery. I want to disconnect these wires from the trigger. And here is my motor. I want to disconnect these wires from the trigger. Trigger has been removed. Next I'm going to drill holes in the shell so I could feed these wires out of the casing of the drill. I plan on doing my wiring for the wireless controller out here. So I fed my wires through the shell of the drill so I can replace the other half onto the drill. I secured the drill to the mounting board with some simple pieces of chain. Pretty sturdy. Now I'll be wiring my drill to the wireless receiver. I stripped my wire. We're gonna continue following the wiring diagram that came with the receiver. All wiring has been completed. Next, we have to program the controller following the manufacturer directions. Test. Wireless controller activated. To mount the mounting board on my door, I'll be using industrial strength adhesive Velcro. My principal wasn't too excited about me drilling into my door, so I think this will be strong enough to hold it on. All right, here is the official test. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. There you have it.